The story of Sour Johnny. Sour Johnny was full of mischief and deceit. He didn't listen to the science teacher when safety instructions were given. What would be the result? Now Johnny was a sour kid. Always into mischief, always causing trouble. What are you talking about? I'm a nice guy. I was just misunderstood. Well, he, so the tale goes. Just like the time Johnny tied a knot in Susie's hair. <coughs> or the other time when Johnny walked into the bathroom stalls at the school and kicked Billy in the back, pushing him into the urinal. <coughs> what do you know? Late for class again. Well, what you gonna do about it, Daddy-o? <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's that? Oh. Whoa. I just got out of gym. I'm a little hot. Uh, that looks like water. Yeah, I could use some water right now. I just got out of gym class and I'm sweating up a storm. Hey, Johnny, I don't know, man. This is a science room. I don't know if that's water or not. You better, you better be careful around that stuff. So what do you know, Pops, huh? I know what I'm talking about, and I know water when I see it. All right. Let me get a drink of that. Yeah. Johnny, man, are you sure? I don't know, man. You should probably just leave well enough alone. What are you, sissy? Give me some of that water. Here, let me pour it off of my own head. Oh. Oh, yeah, that feels good. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. What's happening to me? <laughs> Johnny. Johnny. Johnny, where are you going? Oh, boy. For some reason, I don't think that was water, Johnny. So what do we learn in the case of Sour Johnny? Well, in a science classroom, things are not always as they appear. You see, he thought that chemical was water, but what did it really turn out to be? Who even knows? All we know is that Johnny melted his face off. So, when you're in the science room, be sure to be mindful that things may not be what they appear, and use your caution. Instead of sniffing something with your nose like, <laughs> you should waft it and take a careful observation of things because things may be deceiving.